Shane here with Motorsport Diesel again. This will be the next video in our knowledge series of videos. Uh, today we're going to be discussing uh, CP3 pumps, the common rail high pressure pumps, and um, we're going to show you what actual and true displacement is for these pumps, and we're also going to show you that a lot of these outrageous claims of percentage increases in the marketplace are nothing but lies. Yeah, I'll say it again, they're nothing but lies. So the only way to show you um, this is to just show you every aspect of it. And this is the shaft from a CP3, point, uh, CP3 pump. Um, this is what causes the plungers to move up and down inside the bore to create the displacement. So um, Cummins or uh, Bosch calls this a crank, and uh, you know we take these also, or we also uh, make these in bigger strokes as well. You know, using a very similar material to these. But the, this is a stock one, and this is going to be representative of all the light truck CP3 pumps from the Cummins 5.9, 6.7, uh, your Duramax versions, your LB7, LLY, LBZ, and LMM. They all share the same bore and the same stroke. So the overall displacement of all your CP3 pumps is identical. Now they don't all flow the same, but they all displace the same. Big difference there. Flow is what you can get out of it. If we take an 8 ounce coffee cup and we fill it to the top and you pour it out and you measure it, you're going to get 8 ounces out of it if that's what it displaces to begin with. If it's not completely full, you're not going to get eight ounces out of it, you're going to get less. But anyway, we're going to show you how um, you compute the size of these pumps. We're going to show you how you measure the stroke, how you measure the bore, and how you compute it into the same method that Bosch uses to determine the size of the pump. You know, when we're flow testing these things, we don't put, hey, this is a X percent pump, you know, in our flow testing data. You know, we know exactly what, this size, what size this pump is to begin with, so we can say, okay, it flows this much. We don't say, hey, this 85% pump flows 72% fuel. It's got some wear. It doesn't work that way. And we're going to show you how ridiculous that these percentages are, and we're going to try to educate you with the truth, which only comes from one place, honest people. And to be honest, you know, you've got to accept the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, other people can be honest too, but, you know, it seems like the most honest people are the ones who know that they are called to a higher calling than to tell people a bunch of lies and try to just make a bunch of money. So, anyway, we've got this set up on our surface plate here. Uh, it's in a V-block. The V-block is parallel ground to within one-tenth of a thousandth of an inch. So, whatever we come up with here, you know, it's going to be very, very close to, to what it actually is. So we're going to start at zero, and uh, we're going to spin this thing over. And right there is one tenth of an inch, a hundred thousandths. That's two tenths, two hundred thousandths, three hundred thousandths. And it uh, looks like we stop at 323. So we're going to write that number down. And our stroke is 0 0.32. Three. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move this out of the way now that we, sta uh, we have established what the stroke is. And you can see here, um, we've written down uh, the formula. And the next thing that we need to determine to determine a pump's actual displacement is this is your pumping plunger. There's three of them in the pump. And the amount they move up and down is the stroke and the bore is the diameter. And as you can see, 296 thousandths of an inch. That'd be 300 thousandths. We're four off of it. So we've got a stroke of 323, and we've got a bore of 0 0.296 inches. Okay, so let's do the math here. Scoot this up out of the way, and we'll try to figure this out. And we do 0 0.7854 times 0.296 times 0.296 times 0 0.323 
times three plungers times 60 minutes times 3500 and we get 14,002.8 divided by 61.024 okay um, 229.465 you can see the decimal point there that's the displacement of any stock 5.9, 6.7, LB7, LBZ, LMM, LLY, LB, you know, the whole Duramax and all the Cummins uh, 5.9, 6.7s, that would be 100% volumetric efficiency in all the pump can displace. The most any of them flows is 200 liters per hour. So if we take the number we just got, let's just round it off to 230. And we divide that by 200, uh, we are at roughly 85% volumetric efficiency. We're leaving about 15% potential on the table. And not even that, you're never going to get 100%. So if we take 230 times 0 .98, uh, 225.4 would be as much as we could expect to get out of one of these CP3 pumps modifying it to you know as much as you get like with an arson kit or with any modifications that that uh, increase the volumetric efficiency that's all you're going to get is roughly that there and if once again if we divide that by 200 uh, and the 6.7 Cummins pump only flows 175 it flows less than any of them you get 12.7 percent that's 1.127 or 12.7 percent potential is truly left in that CP3 pump. So when people say 18 and 20 percent and all these other percentages that you know they're going to get with an increase of bolt-on parts to the CP3 pump, it's not there. There's not that much left in it. Now you could get it with a, with a 6.7 pump, you know, because it only flows 175 to begin with out of an available 227. So uh, once again, here's the uh, just a simple math that we use to figure this. And it's accurate. I can put the pump on the test stand and if I count on getting roughly about 97 or 98 percent of what this bottom line equals, uh, it'll do that on our pump test stand. So the next thing we're going to discuss is uh, percentages. Now we've established real numbers. This is a 10.6 millimeter stroke. So if we, um, if we take one of our shafts and we put it in this fixture and we measure it, it's going to be 10.6 millimeters, roughly 422 thousandths of an inch. Um, so we put that shaft in this pump and you know, we use the same formula and we put it on the pump test stand, we actually get 284 liters per hour out of this pump. And we've already established that um, all but a 6.7, all others 200. I'm a lefty. So there's pretty much what you've got. Okay, and let's just say that you want to, you want to take any of these pumps, and let's say you want to get 85% more from it. Okay. All right. Here's your uh, CP3 pump. That's 100% of a CP3 pump. 100% off, got nothing. Okay. Um, we want to increase our percentage 25%. Got a dollar and a quarter. 25 more percent, we got a dollar and a half. 25% more, 75%, uh, $1.75. 10% more, that would be an 85% increase in the total amount of this dollar, 85% more. Okay, now that we've established that, um, all the 85% uh, pumps that we've ever seen and all that you're ever going to see are a 10 millimeter stroke. So let's go back and let's do the math. And actually they fall just a little short of 10 millimeters. They're actually 390, 390 thousandths of an inch. So let's go back and, and let's do the math here and let's, let's show you what a bunch of malarkey these percentages are that these liars are 
putting out there. And we're going to show you how it equates to value in your pocket. 0 .7854, 0 .296, 0 .296, 0 .390 times 3 times 60 times 3500 uh, divided by 61.024 now that would be at 100% volumetric efficiency um, would be 277 uh, total now we've already said that you're not going to get that entire amount say 277 times point ninety six and you're not even going to get this and that's we've seen some of them that flow two sixty four and that's two hundred and sixty five point nine two lph the last ones I've seen um, only had a stroke increase and those actually flowed less than two hundred and forty liters per hour so let's just give them a little here and uh, we'll call it two hundred and forty well that's a funny looking h uh, 240 liters per hour. Well, if it's a 5.9 pump and it flows 200, and even let's give it to them. Let's say, let's say they can get 277 out of it. At, say it's 85 percent over. Uh, simple math: 277 divided by 200. You see that? 1.385 so if we take 200 times 38 wait 200 times 1.385 ah what I do 200 times 1.385 277 that's 38 and a half percent so alright now let's take the what we figured is to begin with which is this is the actual true number once we subtract out for the efficiency let's say it flows 266 um, 266 divided by 200 that looks like about 33 percent to me people 33 percent so here we go um, here's your total CP3 pump here's your increase here's your reality here's what you're paying for kick that extra in there to get less you're being lied to it's just that simple and you have been from the beginning thousands of you you've been cheated you know there's your percent and you know it, it only grows exponentially we go to 120 percent or 200 percent or whatever you know, them people ain't doing nothing but lying to you. And here's the thing. You know, I can say there's 85. 85% more. 85% more of what? 85 more of what? You know, and you people call here and you send me texts. I want an 85% pump. Somebody told me you so. <sighs> Come on, people. We've just showed you the truth. You know? Here's the truth. Here's your math. Here's how you figure it. And what you get's true. It is. It is math. Math all comes from God. It does. God is the greatest mathematician of anybody. And he showed us how to do this stuff. But you compute all this out and it gives you the truth. Right here's the truth. And they're calling it 85% more. Don't fall into it. You know, we learn percents in grade school. You know, we should act like we've really been educated. You know, the whole world should be. And it's not your fault for listening to their ignorance, but, you know, here's the education. Here's the truth behind it. Be ignorant no more. You know, here is your truth. Now, we're going to go to this pump. This is a 10.6 millimeter stroker. Flows 284 liters per hour. You know, people say, well, what percent's that over? Well, if I tell them the truth, Mine looks like it flows less than 85% pump. This thing, this thing would wear out any 85% that that company that makes them has ever put out anywhere. I mean, this thing substantially outflows it. Probably the potential is is there for 75 to 100 uh, more horsepower than what they're calling 85% pump. But when I give people the truth, stock is 175. This flows 284. They, oh, well, how much percent's that? 
you know, people give you the truth, and, you know, I'm sorry, but we act like dummies wanting to lie. You know, because you've been lied to for so long. Well, don't be lied to anymore. Don't accept lies. Accept reality, and here it is. And it's not all pretty and typed out and in a, you know, an Excel spreadsheet, but it's the truth. And, you know, you can go anywhere and you can see that this is the way that we figure displacement for racing engines, for performance engines, you know, and it's it's accurate. It's dead accurate. I can plug these numbers in and put a pump on the test stand and it puts this stuff out. I mean, it just, it works because it's, it's right. And, you know, it, I'm sorry that the industry is what it is, but... You know, it's it's just unfortunate for the consumer that they have to endure such lies. And you don't have to. It's it's your money. You know, I'd spend my 50% somewhere else. You know, because you're not getting it from them. You know, this is what they want. It's what they want. They want all these that you'll give them, and they'll do whatever it takes to get them. And lying is a big part of that. So... Now you've been educated, there's no reason that you don't know, but if you text here and ask for an 85% pump because your tuner said that you needed one, your tuner needs an education too, and I'm going to give him one and you one if you watch my video, you'll be directed to this on YouTube. Uh, once again, this is Motorsport Diesel, uh, the uh, next video in our knowledge series. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, we're going to get in greater depth and give you more truth about some of the lies that have been perpetrated in this industry. And, Hey, I, I've had people that have bought four and five pumps, you know, from these places. Actually, I had a guy that had bought one, and it blew up three times, and they kept telling him it was his truck. But he was putting his stock pump back on there and kept driving it. We took just a good used pump and fixed it up for him and, and made a 10.6 out of it, and he took it and dynoed and made like 750 horsepower with it. So the potential is there with a good product. And, you know, we've got that. We've got that because we do the right things. And uh, we are the company that started the stroker pump. We started these back in 2000, I think, in 2007, I believe. And uh, from there, you know, we've been copied multiple times. Everything that you see out there today is a copy of what we've done, you know, all these years ago. But they still can't seem to, you know, come up with the same flow rates that we do or the same power level. I see... You know, 10 millimeter pumps, they're advertising them for 750 horsepower now. Has your stroker let you down? You know, or has your stroker left you stranded? Ah, a bunch of garbage. You know, they've uh, they just tried to copy what everybody else has been doing. But, uh, hey, our 10 millimeter stroker pumps that, uh, you know, everybody else rates at 750 horsepower, we've had people break 900 horsepower with ours. So, you know, has your, uh, has your 750 horsepower pump let you down because... You should have got nine out of it, should be what they're saying. But uh, anyway, uh, people are going to tell you whatever they can to try to make a sale. And they don't have any true credentials to back it up other than a bunch of ads. You know, I guess your truth is in your advertising budget. But uh, not here at Motorsport Diesel. Our truth comes from one place, Lord Jesus Christ. Give him praise and honor. And uh, if you haven't accepted him as your Lord and Savior, do so. Your life will change for the better, I promise you. Uh, won't guarantee you that uh, your life will be a bed of roses or you'll get rich or always be healthy, but uh, hey, the Lord's there and uh, He's promised to never leave us nor forsake us. So once again, Motorsport Diesel, thank you for watching.